This office is essentially three rooms in one. The first one being my lackluster video production studio, where I record and edit my videos to upload on this YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. My gaming setup, where I play Overwatch, Fortnite, and whatever other video games I find interesting at the time, and on very rare occasions, I will stream over on Twitch. And although those streams are very far and few between, we always have a good time. And finally, this serves as my coding workstation, whether I decide to work from home as a software engineer, or I want to work on any of my own personal projects. So what are the items that go into making this room, all three of those things in one. That's what we're about to take a look at in this video, but first I want to let you know that all items talked about in this video will be linked down in the description below. First and foremost, we should talk about the desk. Both desk bases are made by FlexiSpot. If you follow the channel for a while, you know that I really like the FlexiSpot sit stand desks, and you're able to set three different preferred heights, one for sitting, one for standing, another one for somewhere in between, I guess. The two desktops are different. The wood one I made myself, I didn't make it as deep or as long as I wanted to. I kind of ran out of wood on that one, but as it serves as a side table, it'll do the job just fine. The black desktop, I actually really like. It is a very good length and a very good depth, and it actually has this little curve in the middle for me to sit and kind of be hugged up against my desk. That is a FlexiSpot desktop that came with the base. My peripherals are for the most part gaming peripherals, with my keyboard being the Logitech G Pro Gaming 10 keyless keyboard, and alongside that is the Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse, and those sit on top of a Corsair mouse pad. For those rare Twitch streams or those desktop coding videos like I've made in the past, I use the Logitech C902 1080p webcam. That is sitting on top of a really tiny Joby Gorillapod. For audio, I use Audio-Technica M50s, and those are notorious for having very good sound for a very cheap price. But for those times where I just want to sit back and relax and not worry about headphones on my head, that's where the Kanto YU2 speakers really come in handy. They have subwoofer and tweeter built into each and are hands down the best sounding desktop speakers that I could find for this price. And just to make them look a little bit cooler, I have them set up on these Kanto speaker stands. And my PC mic is a blue snowball, not the best sound quality, but it does the job for 50 bucks. And that is sitting on a newer mic arm, which really isn't very good, but I didn't know that at the time and it was like, 12 bucks. Oh, and let's not forget my chair. It is some type of Amazon Basics chair that I actually like a lot more than I thought I was ever going to. The only downside to it, although could be fixed with a little bit of WD-40, is it squeaks. I don't know if you can hear it on the on the mic, but I know you've been able to in previous videos because plenty of people have thought I've farted, but it was really just my chair. My monitor is an Asus 27 inch 1440p 60 hertz monitor sitting on a Vivo arm. And the machine that is powering all this is a four year old custom built PC. Those specs 100% will be down in the description because I don't want to go over all of that. And all of those items are connected to an APC surge protector. The reason I chose this is because when I had my internship at NASA, this is what they use in the data center. And if they're good enough for NASA, they're good enough for me. So those are all the items that go into my desk setup for gaming, streaming, coding, yada, yada, yada. Oh, except for one thing. I actually use a MacBook Pro that I don't have on me right now. I use that for iOS development and various other sources of software development alongside this beast back here. And everything that goes into work, I believe I'm using a Dell Inspiron touchscreen laptop, 16 gigabytes of RAM, i7 core processor, plenty of storage, and I run a Linux VM on that for work, and sometimes I'll use that here in my office when I'm wanting to work from home. But that's it for the computer parts. Now, how do I make these videos? What are my tools? I use four main tools, really. First is my camera. It is a Lumix G7 with the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens. On top of that is a video mic that setup is sitting on top of a $70 Manfrotto tripod and behind is a newer light. I used to have two of these, but one of the light bulbs broke. And since I have yet to get a new light bulb, that one sits in the closet. And as touched on before, when talking about my mic arm, newer products aren't really the best. They kind of just get what seem to be, you know, Alibaba type products, slap their logo on the side and sell it to you for a marked up price. So for the time being, I'm stuck with these two things, but any purchases moving forward, whether that's replacing the lights or the mic arm, they will definitely not be knee where there will be something a little bit better. 
Something that you don't normally see or just don't normally notice is my networking setup. It is sitting on this old, kind of ugly green antique chest, alongside pictures of me and my wife, a watch that I don't really wear too often, a wooden bucket, and some gold. Oh, and beach in a glass bulb. The router is an Asus AC1900, which I have had zero problems with. It has worked beautifully. And the modem is also an Asus product that I've had zero problems with, but the model number escapes me. I also have quite a few accessories that just live in the office, one of which being this Edison bulb light fixture that you'll see in the background of some of my videos. This is just from Home Depot. Behind that, you'll see a candle. And in this corner, we have my Fender Stratocaster. Yes, I'm a lefty. We have my Cooperstown Hall of Fame baseball bat. In 2007, when I was 12 years old, I lived in Cooperstown for about a week in what, you know, like a barracks style setting and played a whole entire baseball tournament there. It's a lot of fun. And then an Elise's amp for the guitar. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. This isn't the best amp. If I had my choice, I would have gotten a Marshall, but I've had this set up for like, I don't know, 10 years? And no, it's not just an art piece, it actually gets played. And as for this little guitar stand up there, don't remember the name of it, that'll be linked up below as well. Over here, we have a desk, another candle, an old picture of Wrigley Field, because baseball, and then is actually from the 2010 Senate of Virginia with a portrait of all of the senators, everyone that was a part of the Senate side of the General Assembly, as well as all of the Senate pages, were right here. You will see me right here because I was actually a Senate page in the 2010 General Assembly. Pretty cool, huh? And over here, we just have a simple recliner for when Molly wants to come up here and hang out with me while I'm working and a baseball bat in case anybody else who I don't know wants to come up in here while I'm working. So be careful. And that's about it for my will probably never be finished office tour. I initially wanted to create an office to be a very nice backdrop to my YouTube videos and then secondarily be a very good and efficient workstation. But the work aspect of things really took over. Now it's just a, a decent looking backdrop. I mean, I'm happy with it, but it's not exactly what I envisioned in my head. Just know that this office will always be a get work done office before it'll be a pretty office. And that's kind of what I'm working with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Remember, all links to everything listed in this video will be down in the description below. Be sure, be sure to subscribe. If you have any interest in computer science, coding, software engineering, and tech to get all of that work done. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Peace.